today. A top 10 showdown between Arizona and UCLA. Yeah. You're watching the Pac-12 on ESPN. The seventh ranked Wildcats, the third ranked Bruins face off inside a sold out McHale Center in Tucson with first place in the conference and big picture, perhaps even a number one seed in next month's NCAA tournament. All part of the stakes tonight. This is a shot to start the game after and Kirk Creesa who's been battling an injury was 0 for 12 by the way in the meeting nine days ago at Pauley Campbell Juzang Jules Bernard Hawkes and Cody Riley and got down at center court and kissed the big A. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know how I would ever be able to get up from doing something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jabellis with the basket inside second leading score in the Pac-12. Matherin is the third leading scorer. Here's Creesa driving the lane. They give it to him, and he makes the shot. And a signal of appreciation, acknowledgement, respect to the zoo. And where's his number? In fact, he has his first name, Kerr, on his jersey. His dad named him that, had no idea Steve Kerr played in Arizona. He thought it was just from the Chicago Bulls as Cody Riley knocks down the elbow J. Amazing things you know and learn. Once you open your mind, <laughs> Arizona's going to the house. Lucas went by the name Luke, and that's what we named him. Here's Hawkes. Hawkes, wow. With the bank shot, he's got four points early on here for UCLA. By the way, did you see Coloco run down the floor? I think he thought he committed the foul. He was already in the backcourt and realized it was against UCLA. Tubelis with six of the eight points for Arizona. What a life, what a world. RJ uh, making $10 million a year living on Walton's couch. <laughs> It was, it was more than him. that. <laughs> it was more. <laughs> Hawkes knocks down another one. That's his third basket. On their recruiting trips to Arizona. Luke came home. It was his first trip. He said, Dad, cancel all the other trips. Big O, strong, powerful, penetration dish. Floor, three from Bernard. No good. And there's some hooking and holding going oh, on underneath. But by don't both tell anybody. <laughs> Let him play. Two minutes in transition gets the basket. He's got eight. Already. With the world champion Milwaukee Bucks. What a wonderful team that squad is, Milwaukee. Here's Terry, a three. The first of the game for either team, and the Wildcats lead by six. Protocols. Tire, no good. And a block out there by Cody Riley to get the rebound. In transition, Juzang with the basket. 14 foul on Arizona. Here's Juzang against Pella Larson. Rises up and buries the mid range shave. Arizona shooting 50% from the floor early on. One for three from three. Matherin in the paint, counted and won. First points of the night for Benedict Matherin, the third leading scorer. In Sierra Canyon High School from Cameroon. Here he is underneath with the slam. Rotation this year just kind of depends on the matchup. He's averaging 12 and a half points per game his last two though He's in and out based on the other guy's health Here's Creesa from deep got it a three for Creesa much needed Oh this down Campbell tough shot Coloco intimidating Indomitable force inside what a presence a coverage Kyer for three Dang. And now U of A you knew Arizona after the last two games shooting 30% overall and 20% from three would catch fire at some point. They're shooting 61% for this game as Bernard drills a three. Meanwhile, out balance the floor if you're UCLA. Bernard takes the shot though, missed it, and then gets it right back. Fouled wow. by Tubelis, <laughs> counted. So Bernard with a chance at a three-point play, which would be six straight for him. Quick were too powerful, too explosive. Size, strength, Chris Rounds, spectacular job as the strength and conditioning coach. Kirk Grace switches home a three. That's his second triple. He's still one of the Pac-12 leaders in made threes despite his struggles over the last couple of games. Each has been a big factor the last few games off the bench. Again, opportunities because of injuries. Bernard in the paint, turnaround jumper is good. Jules Bernard very aggressive. He's taken eight shots. Matherin is so quick, so balanced, so explosive, literally so perfect. Great post entry pass. Perfect execution. Presa to to Bellis that high low. Back at five. Good pass. Campbell. Bernard missed it. Got it back. Goes back up and kisses it off the window. Arizona's lead is 14. And look at this crowd. 
37-23. Campbell staying on the floor with two fouls, and he scores there. Bala went straight up, so no defensive foul. They trap, and good job by Creesa finding Matherin. Gets deep, plays it up and in, count it, a foul. Three-point chance for Matherin. Out to Hawkins. The quickness of the De Arizona defense. Campbell misfires on the three. Over the top again. Larson runs the floor and gets two, and it's a 17-point edge. The one, they're the ones playing like a top offensive squad. Bernard gets around, Riley lays it in, count the basket. Creesa tried to draw the charge. This crowd, which is still standing, I'm not sure they've ever sat down. This is what they do every game. Here's Riley, and it's blocked, but that's going to be goaltending. So it's a 10-point game. Six straight wins for UCLA in this series. Oops. It's just a fact. The Bruins have won six in a row. Four usually you, here in this Usually you question that and say that I have something against Arizona. Giving facts as Tubelas gets the layup. Well, Riley gives it up to Jaquez deep, and he's... Coloco is just too good. Hawkins got it back, though. And then finally, it's tipped in by Johnny Juzan. To play against bigger, stronger guys. Crease and not close on the triple try. Here comes Campbell. It's got to be quickness. It's got to be the team game skill. Beautiful passing. And Juzan with the basket. It's an eight-point game. <laughs> Tabellis is just running through people. Here's Juzang with a shot clock at six, drives, and finishes at the rim. Johnny Juzang starting to heat up now. He's on luck. Creesa, extra pass to Larson, trying to go baseline. Back out, here's Terry wide open, and he knocks down the three. It's about playing with exuberance, playing with joy, playing with happiness. That's what we're seeing right now from a lot of these Wildcats. They're going to look at the zone. Great ball movement, Kirk Creesa. Matherin, baseline cut off, he'll shoot over Juzang and swish it home. Benedict Matherin promises to be right-handed the rest of this game. And the rest of his life, Campbell drives. No, the tip by Johnson, though, goes in. Another offensive rebound and second-chance bucket here in the second half of the Bruins. Tommy, that guy's got a pure stroke. Johnson blocked the three-point try of Creesa. Jaime Hawkins making wonderful defensive plays. There's Tiger Campbell roaring like a lion. As right now, Hawkins through the lane. Tough shot. No, Ooh. Terry snatches that. And now looks to push tempo. Dalen Terry is deceptively long. Tough shot, it drops through. Batted around, and Bernard is there, looking to run four on one if they hurry. Campbell, Hawkes got it. And a foul, a three-point chance for Jaime Hawkes. So many of them at UCLA at the point guard position since Jason Gardner now on the coaching staff here left in 2003 his number retired beautiful back cut and that's again dale and terry six assists now point lead for arizona a lot of these guys for the wildcats have never played in a game of this magnitude of this intensity of this atmosphere this is a great showing for arizona larson's three is good well, at the nba level you mean bogdan bogdanovich bogey Here's Campbell. Great defense by Pella Larson, just standing up over the top of him. Cody Riley from deep, a long two points. Bernard Look leads up. UCLA with 12, but he hasn't scored Three. here in the second half. Good entry pass to Bellis. Missed it, though. Tapped out by Coloco to Terry. Terry goes to the rim and finishes on the backside with the left hand. We get to witness the health of the future. And boy, this has been a spectacular sign of good health. Campbell got it. A three, just the second made three for the Bruins tonight. Home teams in the history of basketball. Two, two spots in the all-time top ten home court winning streak. Dominated by Kentucky still at 129. Shot clock at three. Here's Matherin. Four three here give him space he takes wow. the three and it's sent back in his face but campbell retrieves it great Shot closeout goal. defense by the wildcats single 10 got a three he's trying to draw a foul rebound juzang they've got numbers ahead to singleton who catches up to it and gets the layup and it's a five-point game Bernard, I mean, 
It was fabulous in the first half, and he hasn't had a touch here in the second. Over the top. Jaquez down low, goes to the left hand and banks it in. It's a three-point game. Arizona's having trouble creating offense. And with no Benedict Matherin out there. Grease and buries a three in front of the Arizona bench. That might be the dagger. To split the season series and take over sole possession of first place in the Pac-12. They got a nine-point lead. Juzang misses off the hands of Coloco. Right to Hawkes who puts it in. Valiant performance by Tiger Campbell. And just going there to high five his teammates showing some some leadership there both free throws go for Larson the Bears it was a figure of speech but Larson gets the second free throw the lead is 12 look at a contributor here's Juzang Bernard who just no field goals in the second half one point finally gets the basket there before experience a year ago Choosing has it rejected by Balo. Boy, is that a fitting end to this game. And then the finger wag on to Kimbe Mutombo. Uh, and Kirk Reacher throws the ball into the student section. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all the happy people here.